Hello and welcome back to my channel as I try and become a YouTuber very unsuccessfully. So I even got this beautiful camera just to like make videos, right? Because my phone um, storage is literally full. <laughs> um, but apparently I cannot for the love of me figure out how to use it. Um, because, so I tried to do like read with me vlog for the Ikotar series. I've read the two books so far and I tried my best to film like my honest reactions as I was like reading it for the first time. But, here's the problem. Um, most of the videos, but this one okay, has like bad light, whatever, it's fine, you know? Because that's how I was reading it. But like, they don't have the audio, so... <laughs> I'm so mad because I think there were definitely some pretty good slash funny scenes for me that I was like, ah, like literally screaming. Uh, let me tell you. Um, so here is my first half of the book review that I will redo because most of them don't have it, but like there's like some that have it. So I will include it at the end or as I see fit. So hopefully that works out. But here is the Court of Thorns and Roses book. Um, again, ton of spoilers is coming up. So I tried to like bookmark them as I saw like different events unfold or like some cute quotes and stuff like that. And oh, I really wish I had the videos and the audio. Can y'all lip read? read lips I don't know how to say it but basically it was really really good I would 100% recommend reading this book in fact I am trying to get my real life friends all of them to read the book but none of them have taken me up on it yet um, I have another friend that is um, I met through reddit for the under the oak tree um, like subreddit and we're actually reading it together but like I have um like OCD, hyper focus, whatever. Like I couldn't stop reading it, so I'm like way ahead of my friend. She's like maybe halfway through the book now, but <laughs> I finished way before her and basically I just need emotional support for um how this book went. It was insane, you guys. Like so good. Um <laughs> I don't even know. And it doesn't feel as honest as it, this will be like a book one review only because I literally just finished reading the second book this morning and now that I know what happened in book one is related to like book two as obviously but like I can see differently like all the quotes and stuff and I'm like ah. So I saw somebody and I've been trying to stay away from spoilers as much as I can but I did see some spoilers, which we'll talk about in the later videos, that does actually have audio, which is kind of lucky. But basically, um, where was I going with this? You guys, I'm just so excited. I really need somebody to read this with me. Um, oh, I also learned how to talk about the names. So, I was saying Feyre's name really wrong. I was like, Feyre. Faye, 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 I don't know, like, I kept on being like, I don't know how to say it, and, like, I don't know if I was ignoring the R, I swear, I was, like, literally ignoring the R, because I was like, Faye, <laughs> and at work, actually, this girl came in, and she was reading, um, like, another book, and I was like, hey, have you read a book, um, this book series, and she's like, oh, yeah, I've read it, I love it, blah, 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 and I told her, I literally just finished the first book this today, blah, 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 and we, like, talked about it for a little bit, and so she taught me how to say the name correctly, Feyre, and Risen, Riz, um, but a lot of the videos actually maybe I'm glad it doesn't have audio because I was saying the names real weird is all I'm going to say um, and I don't know like I was so like like okay let me tell you when Riz first showed up in book number one I was like who is this guy like stay away 
uh, we don't need you, blah, blah, blah. But then at the end of the book, after the trials, like on the balcony, you know, like when he said, I didn't want you to fight alone or die alone. I was like, oh, like, because, you know, they made that like whole like bond agreement thing. And I just was like feeling things, honestly. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Here's my reaction. Okay, the second trial just started and she's basically inside like this big room and like these spiked walls are like closing in on her and Lucian and she has to like figure out a um, riddle and there's three levers that she needs to pick um, so she's trying to figure it out but like she can't read um, so we're trying to figure that out and so she's like going with two just by instinct because it's like her and Tamlin one is like a marathon and like just kind of bad and three is like too much type thing and she's about to just like pick it but I opened my palm to reveal the slithered eye tattoo there it nerved I had to be hallucinating the eye because she got like an eye tattoo after she did that um thing with the waistline so ooh, the tattoo is gonna help <laughs> and yeah like again reach for the middle lever picked a orange um, sticky note for what's his name um, Rizlin even though I know he's not from summer court for a second there when I first started marking them I thought he was from summer court so I thought like orange flowers summer <laughs> anyway Lucian was kissing the ground again and again. <laughs> okay, now we're like kind of liking Rizlin because like he's giving her instructions, I guess through like telekinesis or something because he's like, don't let her like give satisfaction of seeing a break, count to 10, don't look at Tamlin, just stare at her and stuff like that. And just like, you know, wait until you're back in your cell to like cry and stuff because she's like so like overwhelmed because she could have died because she couldn't read and stuff like that you know mm. i'm surprised Amaritha, Amaritha? like let um her just walk away after winning the second um competition I'd have been like, ah, what'd you do? <laughs> so apparently I'll make a better villain. Oh, okay. So, first of all, <laughs> it's risen, risen? Here, I'll spell it out maybe. But I don't know where the L came from because I've been saying Rizlin. <laughs> um, two. So I was thinking about it and I'm like, does he really want to keep Tamlin alive or does he have like an ulterior motive where like if Tamlin's like curse breaks off and he gets back his powers, he'll maybe be able to overthrow Emeritha aka Risen will get back his powers too type of thing, you know? So I'm like, mm, maybe it's self-serving um, interest. But then also, he's also saying like, I've been thinking of ways to torment you when you come to my court. I'm wondering, will assigning you to learn to read be as painful as it looked today? So maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Who knows? But And we all just went to other places. <laughs> At least mine did. Okay, bye. Oh my god, I'm getting sad because it's like... So I greedily drank the wine. And I stopped caring about who I was and what had once mattered to me. I stopped thinking. Oh my god, sorry. I was eating the thing called taros. It's like Mongolian. 
Alex likes to call it rice cracker, or not rice cracker, milk cracker. But anyway, um, <laughs> back to the quote. Um, uh, so I greedily drank the wine and stopped caring about who I was and what had once mattered to me. I stopped thinking about color, about light, about the green of Tamlin's eyes, all those things that I still wanted to paint and now would never get to. I wasn't going to leave this mountain alive. Our girl is getting kind of depressed. Okay, but I think we can do it. <sighs> Y'all, it's the day before the final trial, and she's at the one party that she always attends with Risen, and Tamlin's like standing right next to her right now. Oh my god, you can't, um, Tamlin's body slammed into me and our lips met. You can't do that. Because the paint is gonna get smeared. Look at what you've done to my pet. Are you serious? And I feel like we need Risen to possibly help us in the third trial. So I don't know if we want him mad, but I mean, he knew, you know, like, they're in love. Now be a clever high lord and buckle your belt and fix your clothes before you go out there. Tamlin looked at me into my arm. Oh my god, there was like this little fly. I just bought a new plant from Walmart and I think I got a bunch of flies. Shit. Don't tell Alex. Anyway. Mm. never took his eyes off my face as he straightened his tunic and hair then retrieved and fastened his belt again the paint on his hands and clothes paint from me vanished enjoy the party risen to croon pointing to the door he softly said i love you without another glance at risen he left Ah, 
nice try. He was like, if you're that desperate for a release, you should have asked me, pig. <laughs> Oh, okay, Risen is kissing um, our girl, Faye. His tongue pried my mouth open, forcing himself onto me into the space where I could still taste Tamlin. I pushed and thrashed, but he held firm. His tongue, I wonder if you're this, we're about to watch. Uh -huh, yeah. My girl is coming. Well, not my girl. We don't like her. Uh, his tongue sweeping over the roof of my mouth, against my teeth, claiming my mouth, claiming me. The door swung wide. On the marathon crew. I, I, yeah. Mm, but Tamla's right next to him. Or her. It was a matter of time. She said, putting a hand on Tamlin's arm. The other she left, lifted so Jerry and I might see as she said, You humans are all the same, aren't you? I kept my mouth shut, even as I could have died for shame, even as I used to explain Tamlin had to advise the truth. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. <laughs> so basically he said like her biggest weapon is that she keeps our powers contained but she can't access them not fully or wholly though she can control us through them. That's why I've never been able to shatter her mind. Why she's not dead already. The moment you break Amaritha's curse, Tamlin's wrath will be so great that no force in this world will keep him from splatting her on the walls. A chill went through me. Why do you think I'm doing this? He waved a hand to me. Because you're a monster? He laughed, huh? True, but I'm also a pragmatist. Working Tamlin into a senseless fury is the best weapon we could have against her. Seeing you enter into a fool's bargain with Emerita was one thing, but when Tamlin saw my tattoo on your arm, oh, you should have been born with my abilities, if only to have felt the rage that seeped from him. I didn't want to think about his abilities. Who's to say he won't splatter you as well? Perhaps he'll try, but I have a feeling he'll kill Amaritha first. That's what it all boils down to anyway. Even your servitude to me can be blamed on her. So he'll kill her tomorrow and I'll be free before he can start a fight with me and will reduce our one sacred mountain to rubble. And I have a few other cards to play. Our guy is like the devil. <laughs> Faith for culture sale, I drug you, but you don't bother why I never touch you beyond your waist or arms. Mm -hmm. True, exactly. Until tonight, until that damn kiss, I gritted my teeth, but even as my anger rose, I sure cleared. It's the only claim I have to innocence. <laughs> Uh, the only thing that will make Tamlin think twice before entering into a battle with me and that would cause a catastrophic loss of innocent life. <laughs> innocent. But he is helping, so that's good. On your side, believe me, I would have liked nothing more to enjoy you, but there are bigger things at stake than taking a human woman to my bed. <laughs> I knew, but I still ask, like what? Like my territory, he said in his eyes held a far off look that I hadn't seen. Beyond obvious? father killed Tamlin's father and his brothers. Oh. It's 
a long story and I don't feel like getting into it, but let's just say that when she stole our lands out from under us, America decided that she especially wanted to punish the son of her friend's murderer, decided that she hated me enough for my father's deeds that I was to suffer. Aww. Not sad. Here we are with the fate of our immortal world in the hands of an illiterate human. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> his laugh was unpleasant as he hung his head, cupping his forehead in a hand. What a mess. Part of my search for the world is the one. Oh my god, I think her family was captured. The door swung open and three figures, two... Oh wait, it says two male and one female with brown sacks tied over their heads were dragged. Okay, no, it's not their, her family, so that's good. Their concealed faces turned this way and that as they tried to discern the whispers that were flowed across the throne and my knees bent slightly as they broke. Oh my gosh, your final task, Faye. Just turned to the knee. Stab each of these unfortunate souls in the heart. I stared at her, my mouth opening and closing. They're innocent. Not that it should matter to you, she went on. Since it wasn't a concern the day you killed Talon's poor Sintil, and it wasn't a concern for dear Jurian when he butchered my sister, but if it's a problem, well, you can always refuse. Of course, I'll take your life in exchange. But a bargain's a bargain, is it not? If you ask me, though, given your history with murdering our kind, I do believe I'm offering you a gift. I refuse and die. Kill three innocents and live. Three innocents for my own future, for my own happens, for Tamla and his court, and the freedom of an entire land. Okay, at least she didn't capture... <sighs> so and so bad but I thought it was her family that got captured like her dad and like the sisters so in that regards good oh my god well I couldn't do it it wasn't like hunting it wasn't for survival or defense it was cold blood or murder yeah exactly I agree the murder of them, of my very soul, but for pretty things, for Tamlin and all of them here, for Alice and her boys, I wish I knew the name of one of our forgotten gods so that I might beg them to intercede, wish I knew any prayers to. This lady did not. So her last task is to like kill three things, and if she can do it, everybody would be freed, right? And so they did it. She killed two. And now the third person is, ladies and gentlemen, Oh my god, she's doing like a huge loophole. Loophole? Yeah, loophole. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? She's saying my mouth stopped working. Mine's about to stop working, stop working, and start cursing. <laughs>
What if... I don't know if I'm supposed to swear on YouTube, but how could she? Oh my god. Because she's now saying like basically, um, if you can kill him, you can free him and you can have him all to yourself. Because now he's dead, you know. What the hell? Like, isn't she supposed to be like in love with him? Mm. She's ultimately saying like, if it's not me, it's nobody else. Okay, she knows. I don't know what's going on. I searching for any glimmer of truth. There was only that bold rebellion within his case. So I guess she's thinking that her Tamlin's heart is like stone now. So she's gonna stab him anyway or what? Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps it was just fairy turn of it. How she control Okay, I see. Dominating and unleashing them just as she kept. Jordan's soul tethered to the eye and board. Trust no one else had told me, but I trusted Tamla, and more than that, I trusted myself. I trusted that I had heard correctly. I love you, I said, as I stabbed him. Girl, this is the last, uh, I think it's like the last chapter. Uh, okay, there's like two more chapters, but damn. Tamla and I think we figured out the riddle, and the answer was you can find it on chapter 4 of 3. <laughs> or, sorry, page. <coughs> the mask is coming off, y'all. Goodbye, somebody needs to come rescue her. Okay. Pretty sure she died. Like, Merita. I think um, Lucian's dad is saving her, which is good. Oh, so all the High Lords are like kind of giving her magic, so I think she's gonna survive. I hope she does. She'd become a High Fae. I knew that was gonna happen. I 100% knew. Okay. I literally knew, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a twilight thing. I don't know if my camera is recording either. Okay, I think it is. But I didn't know if it was going to be like a twilight thing where like, you know, Edward like bites, um, what's her name, Bella and stuff like that. But it ended up like that she saved them and, but anyway, she's, so she's high fae. I kind of knew that was going to happen because it was kind of like leaning towards that thing. But then also... Excuse me, um, on Instagram I was looking it up, you know, like the book and like trying to see like fan art and stuff and I'd seen a photo of her with like those ears and I was like ah. And I think they're gonna have a baby soon too <sighs> But that's all I got and I think this book is basically over my camera is literally about to start Dying on me. It has 5% battery and like a minute left of recording So I will come back to you guys in a minute <laughs> Hello. Okay, so it is the next day and I'm about to go to work and um, actually I really need to do my makeup because I am about to go to work. Um, but I wanted to really quickly talk about the book. So I did finish it last night. Oh my god, there is a lot of shit going. <clears throat> Again, I don't know if I can swear, but I will beep it out. Anyway, there is a lot of stuff going on in here. And um, so I didn't have enough time to start reading the second book in the mornings because I want to like sit down and enjoy it, right? So I actually <laughs> reorganized all the tabs because yesterday like I didn't know what was like or when I was reading it I didn't know what was gonna happen and stuff like that So I actually just like re-color coded my bookmarks and just did that, but it was really fun um, So recent after I finished reading it, I had to look it up on Facebook, and when I looked it up on Facebook, I saw a spoiler, and now I can't stop thinking about it, and I'm like, kind of heartbroken, you know what I mean, because, so basically, <laughs> Rizid and my girl, um, I guess this is spoilers for book two, by the way, but you know how they made, like, that deal that she's gonna spend, like, a week with him every month, and... I honestly wasn't thinking much about it and like wasn't really 
I don't know, looking into it or thinking into it or reading into it. <laughs> um, but then I saw like a comment yesterday that said basically like, I mean, we all thought that like he was just doing that to spite Tamlin, right? And that like my girl and Tamlin are gonna stay together. But apparently looks like Faye and um, Risen, Risen, I don't know. They are maybe gonna end up together, like, cause there's a lot of people shipping them. And now I'm like, <laughs> and then, I mean, even like at the beginning of this video, I did talk about like how I kind of feel deceived because like the whole thing was set up just so she would fall in love with Tamlin, you know? But now that like, I guess she's free cause she's high fae maybe something will be different and it does seem like she's feeling like so much guilt about killing those two other phase that like she's gonna need therapy and reason being like kind of i don't know the word for it but like he's very like playful and annoying in a way so I'm like maybe that'll be really helpful for her to um get over like killing those innocent fays you know um but yeah overall holy shit <laughs> I recommend this book I am obsessed with it and I don't know how long I'm gonna take to read book two but apparently book two is really good and this is like a really good standalone book in the series too but um a lot of people were saying like this book like yeah it's like a good standalone but when you read book two your world view of the book like goes up and then apparently up and up and up so now i'm stuck reading these books um it was so sweet of Alex because like yesterday while I was working, he actually went to Barnes and Noble and like got me the second book, which honestly I might return because my Amazon one comes tomorrow and it's like eight dollars cheaper. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, cool. Watch me read book two if you'd like. I will. I don't know if I figure it out. Link it to the next video. <laughs> um, but 100%, I would recommend reading it so good i read it in probably like two days um yeah I, again i'd recommend reading it that's all i've got to say okay bye <laughs>